we can fill it all with one mass of material. The condenser helps make the material slightly more fluid. We obtain an homogeneous mass of composite on which we directly shape the all-important anatomical structures of the occlusal surface. We cure, and with the same prostate as before, we add several small increments to repute the details of the various anatomical structures. Here, a slightly more pointed instrument makes it easier to repute the thin details of the tooth. As our patient is young, all fissures are therefore deep and clearly marked. We cure again and see that we must still add a bit of material in some parts, for example at the distal part of the distal buckle cusp and cure. Please note again that quick steel does not stick at all to instruments. We place a paladin separation ring to improve the quality of the contact points as it will create space needed for better proximal contact between the premolar and the first molar. The matrix is adapted with a burnisher. It gives the matrix the desired shape and the cavity is now ready to be filled. We place at once a large amount of quicksilver. The condenser makes this bulk filling smooth and you can see how we can easily form the distal marginal crest without ever touching it. This was done by modeling the homogeneous mass of composite material. On this view, we see the distal marginal crest that is pre-shaped and we now have to rebuild the cusps. We can do the work in one layer using the same Peter Thomas number 3 hand instrument as before. We curve and model our increment to the final desired morphology without the risk of running out of time as Quicksfield exhibit a sufficiently long working time. We then cure. Finally, we remove the metric system, started with the ring, then with the wooden wedge. Remove the matrix by pulling it sideways with tweezers. Here we see that it might even tear, which demonstrates that we have created an excellent interproximal contact. Also, Quicksfield does not belong to the pay cable composite materials, 
You see that one can still achieve excellent contact points. We will check this contact point later using silk floss. We now enter the finishing stages. We use red ring finishing burrs mounted on a red ring contra angle handpiece rather than on a turbine and so can better control the presser on the instrument. We will use them to pre-shape and finish the cusps both lingually and vestibularly. It is also possible with this type of instrument to accentuate fissures, eliminate a certain amount of excess material, create a good transition between convexities and concavities on the occlusal surface. We always work at moderate speed to control the movement during these finishing stages since only very small quantities are being removed. We finish here by creating the mesioproximal pits. You can see here on the occlusal view the anatomy obtained under these conditions. We do the same for the premolar, where we are careful to preserve the convexity of the marginal crest. You can see on this occlusal view the difference in shade due to the translucency of material. This, in effect, permits a deep photopolymerization. However, when replacing amalgam, as you can see in 2.6, discoloration caused by the amalgam is shining through to the surface, also the cosmetic result is infinitely better than anything achieved previously. We do have some excessive adhesive on the premolar. Excess from the interproximal space can be easily removed with a periodontal carrot. The finishing stage is completed very quickly using only one instrument. We use the point four from the pogo system. It gives a very nice shine on the occlusal surface, having beforehand used the red ring finishing burr. We can work, as is the case here, without a spray on a lightly moist tooth. We work at low speed to avoid the risk of overheating. It is possible to use it at a low speed and a dry composite too. We have ourselves done some tests using a water spray and also obtained excellent results. We want to make sure all dental surfaces are polished and proceed with care. I want to stress again that the quality of the result you can see on the screen is obtained with only one single instrument. We check the interproximal contact point using silk dental floss and you can see that here we have obtained an excellent proximal contact. The articulation is adjusted after having removed the rubber dam. Clearly two high spots of the filling are removed with the same burr as that used for the finishing. A second check is carried out and you can see how the creation of the normal occlusal anatomy enables us to obtain easily a tripod as described in the dental literature. Under these conditions, we can easily position all contact points with the opposing teeth. Here is a general view of the filling on the post-operative X-ray. You can see the excellent cervical adaptation of the proximal filling on the premolar, the good radio opacity of the Quicksfield filing product. We have shown how valuable in is this new generation of composite quicksfill. The material is easy to use, does not stick to instruments and allow fast bulk placement. We can now, in one session, treat 
Three stereotypes with large cavities and get access.